think from a teaching point of view, we've got the planning there, we've got the assessment, we've got the PowerPoint, so we've got everything, we've got the stories, the songs, so everything is there for us to use. So from that point of view, that saves us a lot of time as teachers. That means we've got a little bit more time on our hands to think, right, okay, so we can add a little bit of our own creativity to that lesson or we can add something to our environment. And the nice thing is, it's now become embedded in our classroom. So Monster Phonics is part of everything. It's really kind of well scheduled for us to follow to the letter, but also adaptable for us to adapt whenever we need to. Phonics was, I'd say, an unenjoyable experience previous because you were having to put the resources together and because it was a 20 minute session, rightly or wrongly, teachers weren't giving it the focus that it perhaps needed because you wasn't over resourcing a lesson that was only going to be 20 minutes. Um, whereas with Monster Phonics, it's all there, all ready to go. You can check what sound you're doing, there's a song with it, there's a PowerPoint with it, everything's kind of ready made for you to go ahead with, but you can also then add and adapt to your, your surroundings, your class. Children inherently want to play. And when children start school, Parents, I think particularly, think they're going to learn to read and write. Yep, that's our prime intention. But before that, they've got to play. And Monster Phonics gives you that absolute platform for allowing the children to play. Within role play, you'll see Miss um, Oh No having another disaster because the children are recreating those characters. You'll hear them singing songs, which children should be doing for all that language development and the rhyming. You'll see them painting the characters, reenacting it out in the playground. So I thought I was using a multi-sensory approach prior to Monster Phonics, um, but the engagement of the children is just unbelievable.